Hi, I'm Fat Tony. Welcome to the show studio. Uh, today we're talking all things Givenchy, and I'm joined by this incredible panel. <laughs> <laughs> Starting on my left, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Adam Andresic. I'm the former creative director of Guy Roche Paris, uh, currently a luxury consultant in London and a senior lecturer at UEL. Serious. Serious. <laughs> We'll be asking you lots of questions, Adam, because <laughs> you're the expert here. Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, I'm Princess Julia. Um, I'm a DJ. I'm uh, a bit of a writer. But most of all, I'm a fashion lover. Hi, I'm Michael Hennigan. I'm a fashion journalist uh, who writes for the Sunday Times, for Ten Magazine and for GQ. Going by that, it's gonna, it sounds like it's going to be really boring apart from Julia, but it's not actually going to be fun, so stay tuned. We're, we're all very opinionated, as you well know. So first of all, we're going to look at the show and then we're going to discuss it. So... <laughs> I'm looking at the show. Well, first of all, right, first of all, let's talk about the location. Yeah, the location. The location's very important. The location's amazing, actually. I feel, because it sets the sort of scene of what's about to happen. So the, sh so the show is based on, what's the show, it was at Villa Palmari. Oh, lovely. I mean, it's, it's, it's visually stunning. Isn't it? A beautiful manicured garden with a bit of a fountain, water feature. <laughs> and also, look, what's nice? People are so having this, afternoon let's talk about tea. This, I think it's, I saw the show last night, I watched a bit of it, well, the majority of it, and I actually thought it, it's very classical. Mm. Very classical and very beautiful. Mm. Because like, there was a part of me that really didn't want to like it. Mm. I'll Why? be honest, because that's just me. Well, you know I mean, I see, I, you know, I'm, I, I know for well I was going to come here and talk about it. Mm. And I just thought, okay, I'm going to slag the fuck out of it. Yeah. But you know what? I, I, there's nothing really to slag out of it. I mean, it's probably me. worth mentioning as well that they were the guest designers at Pity, which we haven't spoken about. So they don't normally show there. And this was her first full men's collection. Well, I mean, I, I, I literally, there's some really beautiful suits and some really, and the layering and everything about it is just really classical and very beautiful. What do you think about her, or Givenchy, being a guest designer at PT? Because when I think of PT, um, I think of like Raph Simmons, mm. I think of Craig Green, you know, really up and coming designers who yeah. have just solidified a point of view. And then Givenchy feels a bit, I don't know, it felt a bit odd to me. But then I think PT has evolved quite a lot over the last few seasons in itself as, mm -hmm. you know, what it kind of stands for and what the event actually is. Um, so I think, you know, it's, they're still kind of, they're not finding their feet, but the fact that it's, the weeks have now all merged into one, I think is still kind of evolving. Oh, no, I, I mean, I think that I mean, Pity having Givenchy is mm. like a coup. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah, totally. I mean, it's just fantastic. I'm more talking from the point of like, you know, Givenchy is a massive heritage brand from mm. LVMH. This isn't Craig Green who's showing, you know, with the BFC's help. Yeah. It just seems a bit... Strange. I mean, she's already shown menswear before this, and it, with this collection, I feel like this is almost like a reboot. Yeah, I get she's that. But cleaned the, her palette. I kind of get that, but at the same time, I kind of think that, you know when they when they, when you got the two things that are merging, and the way the reasons why they're merging is because of the world we live in. Mm -hmm. and but people, then also, people I mean, love she, collaborations. Full she stop. has shown menswear before, but it's always been with women's. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So this is the first full. I mean, how many looks were there? Fifty-eight looks. Yeah, fifty-seven. This yeah. is the yeah. first. Yeah. yeah. And out of, the, out of all 57 looks, I can't like, I'd say I like a good 49, which for me is oh, really remarkable. I thought you were going to say seven. No, it's actually, <laughs> honestly, I was, I was actually quite taken back by it. I was like, oh, wow. Because, it, you know, it's, uh, it's very wearable. I just... Go ahead. No, totally. I mean, I think the thing about Claire Wright Keller's Givenchy is it's, it's still very true to that archive, to that kind of, to historically what Givenchy is. But it kind of really is nailing that moment in tailoring at the moment as to what, what guys and boys want to wear. Is it relaxed tailoring? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I'd say, I'd say yeah. it's, pretty, it's, it's pretty, pretty relaxed, relaxed tailoring. He hasn't got a shirt on. That can't get much yeah. more relaxed than that. <laughs> no, it's, it's, you know, we had this conversation before about relaxed tailoring. There's something quite 90s about it, isn't there? That kind of almost like 
Like wearing your dad's jacket to your first job. Mm. Or is it yeah. a power It's kind of like, you know, I've got, you know, work at nine and then gangbang at 11. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like, you know, you've got yourself. like the suits and then you've got nothing <laughs> underneath. It's kind of like, okay, Easy access. I'm going to the sex party tonight, so maybe I'll just take the shirt off. It's kind of cool. I think that the best looks for the collection too were like the ones that really skew kind of evening, very gothic, the kind of beaded things where she mixes kind of, you know, the tech fabric of a kagul with maybe a petrol blue trouser and it feels very much going out at night. Um, I think, you know, there's an interest in uh, taking tech fabric and really trying to elevate it in luxury. You see it in menswear, mm. especially with people like, you know, Kim Jones's debut at Dior. He took tech design and just, you know, he took the house codes, put the old Dior logo from the 80s into it. Just Incredible. phenomenal. I kind of wish there was just a little bit more history of Givenchy here. I know yeah. that she talks about the you, tapestry. Because it could quite easily be Lombard or yes. something like that when you look at that. But that's it, like, Austin Driver is exactly what I thought when I looked at this. I was like, if it was just a bit more frayed, like just and a little bit what, more human. We all know what happened to Lombard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I don't think that was his fault though. Austin Driver no, was but, the one saving that. Yeah, he was yeah, No, I'm not saying that, but once you say it, it's yeah. like, I'm like, you know, we had our so long band like, moment three, five, yeah. five years ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. which lasted two it was, seasons. And it was quite kind of a long moment. moment. Yeah, and no. That was kind of, yeah. I mean, I saw, I've never seen, like, he sold that, those shirts, you know, with the, the polo shirts yeah. with, like, the uh, grow grain. Like, my God, everyone had those. Yeah, I, totally. I, and as we say, no one's wearing them today. But, um, <laughs> but I mean, you know, with this collection, I kind of just think, yeah, it... it, it it's very classic and very beautiful, but it could be anyone. Yeah, yeah that's the only thing I have is, you know, yeah. I think there's some looks at the end where she's doing this, um, this trouser that has an elongated waist to it that almost looks like it's a cummerbund. Yeah. And then he's wearing like a tech um, blazer of it with a t-shirt and I was like, phenomenal, love it. Like, I know it's a hard look to yeah. wear, but that felt like she had found a piece in the archive that maybe, you know, Monsieur Givenchy had wore himself to a dinner party or something or, you know, and then updating it with, just a piece of tech on top. I thought mm. that when it did that kind of stuff, it really worked on it. She really got, you know, the essence of that house. And I, I think you're right with, um, in regards to like the shaping, uh, the oversized button down sh uh, shirts and, um, you know, the kind of sportswear. Givenchy's very much that because of Tishi. Uh, and it's, it's good to see it, you know, follow in that direction because you can't really forget that customer. I mean, he almost single-handedly built that brand over what, like 10 years as creative director there? I mean, mm -hmm. even longer. I mean, it's a lot less sporting than it was under his, him, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a lot less graphic. You know, that was, I mean, it kind of got to a point where it was slightly caricature, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. it kind of like those last few seasons. Mm. It was very footballers and very Cheshire, wasn't it? Are we yeah. moving into the evening section here? Yeah, sort of here, because uh, I think that's all beaded. Ah. Uh. So we're moving into the cat, slightly camper section. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like, kind of more accessible to like, like every area of our lives. I think there's, there's this one look, it's a tan suit, three piece, uh, three, three button. Then it has a um, like pale yellow. Uh -huh. And it's just that one is amazing. Oh, the jewelry as well. They've, they're all, a lot of them are wearing crosses which I thought was a really nice little nod to the fact that, you know, you're showing in PT, the Roman Catholic Church, yeah. and it feels Gothic in Givenchy. And I, I was like, oh, it's more of that. Give me some rings or something, something a bit, yeah, it, know, it, a bit it's darker. Like, yeah, it, it's uh, quite light on accessories. Yeah. And you've got the odd man bag thrown in. Yeah. Okay, everyone, have you put your order in? <laughs> this look, I love this look. This is a good one. What's your order to you guys? <laughs> What are you thinking, Adam? That's, that's, very, you, that's what, very 80s Yoji, that mm. look. It's like that yeah, side shoulders and, and the pleating and the bagginess of it. That's very Stone Island, but we won't go there. Um, <laughs> what were you saying Stone before, Island. pastels? Yeah, well, pastels were coming through, but now we've moved on to the evening section. It's gone a bit more Bergheimy, mm. shall yeah, we say. Exactly. Yeah. Do you think the clubbing scene it's quite it's had like an influence upon, you know, these very I, chic I, I don't think designers. it's so much the clubbing thing. I kind of think it's kind of like, you know, that genderism. You know, the whole, OK. What, so fluidity. It, yeah, you know what I mean? It's like really fluid. I mean, you know, dare I say it, you know, some of it, some of it's quite, you know, uh, 
I'm not going to say the word. I want to say it. 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 But what I'm saying is, what I am trying to say is the fact that it is very gender fluid in some of the looks for a menswear show. Mm. I mean, you know, it's quite girly. I mean, I do like these windsweeper things. Yeah. Uh, I, I quite like the really simple. Is that the really that name? Is that <laughs> <laughs> windbreaker. 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 Yeah. And also, I, uh, is, I do I mean, like that chain. I'd have that. Yeah, the chain's like, like the this earrings. One. I love this. Yeah. This is. Yeah, here we go. A the wind necklace. Oh, very cool. Like. Very Beyonce at Coachella. <laughs> it's like, do you get what I mean? Like coming yeah. in with an overflown coat. And I like that. That's, no, nice. that's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it, it, as I say, it, it's very, it's very um, gender fluid, I think. A lot of it, apart from the anoraks, obviously. But, you know. Yeah, some of the ones where, have... sorry, oh. where, it's on, where it's on women, I think it actually looks a little bit better. I mean, do That's you think it's cool. gender fluid, or do you think it's more just the casting, the way we're kind, of, the way it's presented to us? Well, I kind of those shapes it, aren't particularly. There's, you know, there's an awful lot of cinched-in waist lines, and the earliest stuff in the collection. There was very, it was very cinched-in waist, blousy, and baggier trousers. Yeah, you know I, what I mean, yeah, certain elements are. I love those, um, uh, like, I like the cooler bag, bag. Lunch boxes. the cooler bag. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. I was going to be out all day, so I bought a lunch. That's the bird kind, Julia. <laughs> oh, yeah. Full of condoms and lube. <laughs> in your handbag. Uh, you could keep your poppers cool in that. <laughs> well, no, I'll be t wearing that to Adonis. Oh, Adonis. Adonis. Oh, oh, it, chapter have you, have 10. Have you just been booked for that, have you? Is I've that why you're getting your name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have. <laughs> <laughs> chapter, chapter 10. Oh, yeah. Chapter 10, that's <laughs> a good one. Okay, you said chapter 10 six times, so you, they got their advert. Yeah. <laughs> and well, also, well, I do hear that the ICA is going to do a 24-hour happening. Are they? Right? Really? Well, yeah. yeah. Coming up. Oh, good for them <laughs> this Just summer. Letting you know. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Mm. Yeah, with those tie suits, like there's an almost like an end of Mule Meester vibe here, where you know she's think oh, they didn't like push it too far, but I like that mm. the, rom the romance there is really nice. That's beautiful. Really good that with the references, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> he is, is isn't that it? With the it's all I do is look at fashion. Well, it's, it's all so very. Boring. I think it's a really know. early feel of Yoji to it. Yes, absolutely. It's yeah, a yeah, major yeah. influence of Yoji. When yeah. I look at it, I just think, okay, that's quite calm and it's quite Yoji at the same mm. time. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, this is the trouser here. Yeah, that, yeah, that trouser's quite nice. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's gorgeous. So you can hide that's your gut you. in that as well. Just sh shove it down. <laughs> it's like, oh no, I'm very fit. I'll just put that jacket on. So the high waister, the high waister number that's coming in, pastels. We're seeing a bit of pastels. Is this the wedding dress? <laughs> I mean, I saw like um, the wedding. You don't have a wedding dress. Oh, I like that. <laughs> that's really nice. Yeah. yeah. This is the wedding dress. That's his, like, his and hers. This is the moment. Yeah. You know the Mariah Carey moment. Mm -hmm. oh, the setting's beautiful. Isn't it? So who, if I was to say to you, out of all of the designers for Givenchy, who's your favourite, starting with you, Adam? Oh, I mean, Tishi, probably. I mean, the, I've never seen like, an impact that somebody's had mm. at a design house like him. You know, when he had that Rottweiler shirt out, you mm. couldn't walk in London or yeah. Paris without seeing it everywhere. I mean, I was yeah. seeing it in like, North Carolina. It was insane. Yeah, I, I kind of think Ricky put it back on the map again. He really, yeah. like, you know, took it to the next level. And what about you, Julia? Well, I'm going to agree with you, yeah. With Ricky? Yeah. Ricardo. Yeah. Yeah. Michael, go on, be diverse. I think they all, they, you know, if you... Don't sit of... on the fence, I said, <laughs> because... Well, I mean, yeah. But I think you can appreciate something. what each of them did. Yeah. You know, I didn't personally really love the Ricardo Tisky aesthetic. Like, it was never very me and I found it a bit too sporty and a bit and towards the end a bit too caricature. Well, that's kind of what people were wearing at well, that no, point. No but it, it worked and it sold like hotcakes you know I yeah. can't remember talking to Harvey Nichols at the time and they were just like we can't keep up with it and it was when do Harvey Nichols not, was still kind of cool it was I, still kind of happening. It, it, you know do you not see that influence moving over to Tom Yeah totally Burberry? but I do really like what she's doing. I mean I think she's amazing. Like I think the women's wear looks amazing I think the men's wear looks great. It's very, um, um, it's sort of stripped back. It's a bit more there's refined, an idea it's kind of, of... Yeah, it's, it, there's an idea of um, simplicity, oh, well, should we go. say. <laughs> that's the word of the morning. <laughs> How does that work for you, Julia? <laughs> it 
It's all in the edit. It's all in the edit. But I quite often, what I do when I'm getting ready to go out, I pile it all on. And then take that piece off. I take bits off. Yeah. Because you have to do that. As much as I'm tempted to pile it Where on. Where it all. If, um, if you didn't, if left to your own devices, how much, like, how many pieces would you have on at once? If you well, I don't know, really. You might be hat, this, that, everything. But obviously, you know, I've got to trawl around a bit. Go from club to club. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you go, but you've well, always... Well, but I, think, I think sometimes it's good to just sort of strip Take a few back. elements off. You know, I think this is why this collection works so well, because it's, you know, it's very, it's focused. It's a focused collection. Cohesive? Yeah, cohesive, say? yeah, we can absolutely <laughs> say cohesive. So a part of this collection, they, had, they did a, cl a, a collaboration with Antiques, Ant <laughs> Onitsuka Tiger. <laughs> got the name right. Words. Onitsuka Tiger, which are, I mean, to me, in this image here, with the, 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 very, the ASIC trainer, it's, mm. it's, I don't get it. I, I really, what I, I always find quite disturbing about when big brands do collaboration with shoes, and trainers, they always seem to get it wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like the last minute rush job, or it's like, it's like you look at them and you just think, that's not going to sell. Because what was the mm -hmm. main thing they did with them? They wrote Givenchy on the one side. On the one on side, the... yeah, yeah, again, you know, and, and then they have Yeah, yeah they have the normal, they have the, the, I mean, it's the tick on one, and then it's the Givenchy on the other side. Yeah, for me, it's kind of like very sports direct meets high. <laughs> High end design, it, it, it is. I'm but then sorry. you have to what think is it about, a slip you know, on. A, a massive category for any big brand is the accessories. You know, those, totally, I get those it. I, pumps, which I've as, as a trainer, yeah. I've themed myself. To me, I, I wouldn't, I, you know, that it's not a nice trainer. But you know, for most, for, for you know, if you think about a lot of boys or kind of that kind of 20-something guy who can't really afford to go and buy a full Givenchy look, but will go and buy the Givenchy well, train. £500 pound pair 500 of trainer. £500 pound pair I mean, of you know, if you go to Selfridges on a Saturday afternoon, the whole of Selfridges, the main department, is the Do you know what I mean? And then he'll wear, he'll, like, take, make, keep it pristine. I mean... I like it, actually. I like that. I, I'm not that I've got a very Madam X there on the back. <laughs> 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 Where the were cha -cha -cha. <laughs> your eye patch? <laughs> Can we have a look at the close-up of the shoe? Maybe the front the of it, to the side? I understand what you're saying about the shape, but I think maybe... I just think I don't know if it's meant to appeal necessarily. I just... You know... We were saying before um, we started that you know, uh, it looked uh, like a rapetto, exactly. like a yeah. ballet shoe on. I think that's yeah. trying to show I quite like it in white, but in Yeah, black, I like it in I white. Yeah, white's well, okay. Yeah, yeah take it back about the yeah. white. <laughs> but you know, because yeah. it looks like, it but almost looks like a nice like like between a tailored shoe. You know, when you do a collection now, the, the shoe is, is like the malequivalent of the handbag. Mm. This is what sells the most. Those kids go in, if we talk about McQueen, everybody knows McQueen from McQueen trainers in that they yeah. under, 20, under 25 generation. They don't look at their clothes, they all want to wear the McQueen trainer. It's like if you talk about D squared, they all want to wear the, the cap. You know, it's like, and, and really? so, you know, <laughs> not us, but I mean, you, you know, it, it's like, it, it suddenly become streetwear, yeah, road man wear. Yeah. That's what it is. And you know, they all wear McQueen trainers. They all, if you, you know, when I DJ in places like certain, certain parties and it's full of kids from Essex, I, there must be 400 pairs of McQueen trainers and Javon's yeah. trainers there. You know, they I'm go for exactly the, which the biggest one you're talking name about, that Do you get what I'm saying to you? Yeah. That's like the mal equivalent of, of the handbag. So each design, they're very, they know that, that they're going to sell the most of. I mean, do you ever think, talking of handbags, that, that bag for it, like, on here they had the tiny little satchels that were kind of... This one. Yeah. 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 Very love Japanese it. manga girl. It's very... I love it. Yeah, you would. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've known you a long time. What do you think? I've you seen all the looks. Like I don't know, but I actually, I have a friend and I've probably spent about half of the last three years going around parties looking for his little man bag, which there's always a point in the night where there's a big panic <laughs> and it's like, where's my bag? Yeah. It's like a little water cooler type bag. That's yeah, what it is. It's, 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 it's like you put your sandwiches in it when you're going on. I mean, I think you'd feel quite jaunty with it. Like, jaunty. Well, who uses that <laughs> like tea? <laughs> jaunty. 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 <laughs> you would, I think that's the right word for it. You would feel jaunty walking down the road holding... Jaunty trotting down the road. I've got one. Question, right? Okay. But my question would be, what would you put in it? 
Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, let's talk to Jaunty. What would you put, <laughs> what would you put in it? Some sandwiches from Prep, bag of crisps. Uh, no, you'd have, I mean, you wouldn't really have anything. What would you have in it? You might have Nuts. your phone and your fags. Phone, fags, charger, power pack. Your wallet. Oh, there you go. Look, there's another Jaunty little bag. Look. In the, in the, uh, that mo that's in more the of a weekend Liam Gallagher bag. from Oasis outfit. USB sticks. Mm. Yeah, there you go, and headphones. Yeah, yeah. thing. Maybe a spare T-shirt, a spare vest. Some pants, in case you're staying out overnight. So it's become <laughs> something... Nick, Nick gone from being socks. a jaunty bag to an overnight bag. <laughs> Julia, what were you going to say? Well, I was going to um, ask about the, um, the stand on sustainability. <laughs> because very much the question of now, whether brands are into... You know. Recyclable fabric, Recy blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Sustainable fabric, well, just... this, that and the other. And I actually went to a talk the other day. I love those blue trucks. Dan Burns, and it was all about fabrics and these big brands doing something for our planet. So we're killing and the then... planet with cotton. Cotton's the biggest yeah, it's, it's, it on the planet takes, right now. I think to make a T-shirt, the... it, it takes... 24 gallons of water. More than that. I, I think it's to, like to, to make a pair of trousers, it makes it, it's like something like 180 gallons of water of just to, to make one, uh, one piece of, of, of item of clothing. I mean, but when you're looking at places like Primark and places yes. like this, and you know, yeah. you see, we, we, we all talk about, oh, the oceans and everything, but cotton manufacturing is actually killing the planet yeah. far more far than most anything else right now. Yeah. I mean, trainers are particularly bad, no? Yeah. Totally are bad. they? Yeah, the mm. amount of plastic in a pair of trainers. There is a trainer. Um, a it looks like one. a... That's it, we hate the collection. It looks like a <laughs> That's it. it looks Get rid like of it. Get rid of that. It's over for her. You should have thought about the planet. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, if you're going to buy, um, invest in a, in a Givenchy, Number, you know, it is something that's going to yeah, last you a long, for a time, long time. You'll get a lot of looks out of it. Oh, and that's kind of like the real sustainability. Like, if you make a product that's so good that's timeless, I mean, absolutely. You're not just going to that tweet that sustainability. Girl, no one asked for this. Uh, about the, uh, just on, on their Twitter account, then it said about, about the Tiger Trainer. Oh, and yeah. Then there, was, there was a tweet under it said, Girl, no one asked this. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's quite genius. Girl, no one asked for this. Did, did that just come up? Did yeah. Just see it? <laughs> it amazing. <laughs> there you have it. Girl. Did you see the, um, uh, there was like an Instagram blitz by Givenchy uh, like two or three days before um, the PT show. And it was um, these sort of animated graphics of like uh, an Italian mother um, talking and, you know, a guy, I don't know, working in an oven. And then it has all of these, uh, you know, Givenchy uh, flowers that came up, and yeah. then and a word in Italian across the front of it. That's it, right? That's there. it, yeah. And well, on the right hand side. So just like, is this a family style restaurant uh, thing? Like, it felt like a weird commercial. Not this one. No. Which one? Very, the one just below, yeah, on the right hand side. So that was a very Nick who was sitting yeah. around yeah. at the moment. It's very Nick this night. One. Let's get that in. Who actually has an exhibition of these roses starting on the 23rd? Of June in Oxfordshire, <laughs> if we're going to do uh, little plugs for things. Uh, go on. Uh, it just, Is this the one you meant? No, no, it's the next, it's the one... Uh, the one to the right? Yeah, these ones. Okay. Yeah, it's well, very... It, which, like, when I'm, so I see this before the show comes out, and then my, my idea of what's going to happen is completely different than what we see. It feels very oh, strange. Like like doesn't, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get, yeah. yeah. It's, like, really confusing. Oh, there's a new pizza coming out. Yeah, exactly. So, no, I think it's that's Dr. Yeah, Olga. Like, what, what is, when I see the collection, I'm like, okay, I like parts is of it. I think it's Dr. Olga's sort of releasing a new pizza here. Fellini feel. Kind of, yeah, yeah, but it's very kind But that's not very Fellini. Yeah, that's not, yeah, that's... <laughs> it's bizarre. Like well, I'm, I'm re no, just, it's, it's really confusing. This. It's like Mama, Mama, oh, Mama because, makes uh, it best. She's not even an Italian brand. So we'll, oh, exactly. Very weird. Yeah. I think it was just kind of maybe it was more about the actual place it was going to be. Yeah, the PT thing. But yeah. there was a guy who was commenting on it. I think they all got a race, and he just kept writing Dolce and Gabbana, Dolce and Gabbana. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Yeah. All we all know what happened. Was to like, them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there it is. But this is Dolce & Gabbana. Mm 
Very appealing. Um, there was complete silence watching them. Yeah. <laughs> we literally we no all just got to see what they wanted. There was no gasps of like, oh, it's yeah. incredible. This is like, everyone. Listen, it was like, is there something else coming? What do you think about this uh, slopey sort of 80s power shoulder? Coming in. Well, the big oh, off the like shoulder, yeah, shoulder. Yeah, very pad. pretty, pretty. Yeah. I think you need to be kind of rake fan and 24 yeah. to wear it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. I see you in you it. need to be a model. It's just, you, it, yeah, if it's that big, it needs to show how skinny you are inside so that they don't mistake you for it. Also, be straight up and also down. it's very ageist. It's very like of a certain age can wear it. You know, yeah. men, over, uh, men over 35 really wouldn't get away with that. Oh, some words. They were muscly. Some words. We're not talking about muscly. <laughs> we're talking about men in general, darling. We're not talking no, about. I think like men over. I think you. Yeah. I mean that whole aesthetic is very. Kind of like uh, you have to be really straight up and down and real thin. Yeah. I'm into the, this silhouette though, yeah. because it's a sort of relaxed Anthony Price type thing. Yeah, no, I wondered when Anthony's name was going to be <laughs> Because you know what it is, the, the shoulders and, and, and the cinching and everything is very Anthony Price, especially around the tailoring. Some of those nightclub looks, the, the night. I'm quite into like Anthony. the sleeveless like cycled tank tops. Are you? Maybe you should just keep that to the bedroom, darling. <laughs> you know what I mean? We know what you're into. Tony. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> See, and I uh, like a layering. I'm into layering. This one. I mean, the billowy shirts are good for a bigger boy. Yeah, for everybody, yeah. yeah. I agree with you on that one. What do you think of the, um, the trainers that aren't the Onitsuka I like them. Ones? You like them? Yeah. I like them because, you know, I, I, it... Well, I mean, these trainers here, the, the, the white and red like and blue ones. Two, it's kind of like a, they, it's almost they, like a, it's that 90s thing again, isn't it? It's almost like a riff on, the, on that kind of very 90s Nike shape. Mm. 100%. I really like this blue and, blue and yellow outfit yeah, on the right. Nice. Those trousers. Are, I quite like the trainers in the middle, the red, white Yeah, and that's blue. what I said. Yeah, they're great. But then again, what ruins it for me is, is the cooler bag with the four cans of Red Bull yeah. in it or whatever it's... Uh, Stella. The jaunty handbag. Maybe it'd be better if it just like, had contrast colouring, if it was just all one shot of colour. What, with the trainer and all the, with the oh, I mean, the, the bag, like maybe the bag would yeah, be... Yeah, I it's get like it. all the extra part, I don't know. It's like a camera bag, isn't it? Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Not a cooler bag. Because there's nothing really cool about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Uh, oh. See, now this outfit here on the right with the, cinch, the belt around the, the, the big jackets, it's so 80s. Mm. I love it. Mm. That wide trouser is quite... Mm. I love it. Amazing. The Liam Gallagher look in the middle, I'm not too over keen on, on in, in, that, in that shot, but actually in the show it looked a lot better. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah when, show, it was, when, when he's it was walking flowing. and it's opening up, you yeah. can see like a, a little bit of this sleeve inside. I think I read that she had 10 trouser shapes in this show. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Oh, God, you got Is a that lot. A lot? <laughs> Is that a lot? I mean, That's a that... lot for any show. I mean, like okay. 10 different trouser shapes. Yeah. It seems like... Covering all the areas. All the areas, yeah. yeah. yeah actually, because that's the, the kind of drain. Turning into one of those normal shows, Jujo yeah, Pat. A man <laughs> for <laughs> spices up because I can't Nobody be. Wants to hear about this. I can't be associated with <laughs> ten different trousers types. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going for the kill, or we're going. For the love. <laughs> we're not going to talk about trouser shapes. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Or the lengths of Kagul. <laughs> <laughs> There's one on the left hand side, this red image here. I like that, that kaggle. Mm, it's very lovely. now, everybody's yeah. doing a kaggle. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. So and really, well, how would you describe the Gavonshi um, man? Right now, what? How would you describe him? Yeah, how would you oh, describe him? A man it? for all seasons? And Michael, I, how don't would think, you I don't think he's a man for all seasons. Oh. I, think, I think he's quite a party boy. Party I think he, he likes to go dinner to dance floor. He, he you know, floor. I think he lives a lot. Don't you Living think? Living his best life. Yeah, absolutely. Like he like he Gay, goes straight, bisexual. I think he's quite bendy. Quite bendy, jaunty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Weird. What about you, Julia? What would you say was the Givenchy man? Um, uh, what the, 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 the going that from the, the, the kind of models that they've used? They, they, you know, it's quite a young, spirited. It's very young. Person. Spirited, yes. Um, 
you know, so um, obviously you can be young spirited, whatever age you're at. So that's a kind of interesting thing that, that um, Claire I, is trying to uh, appeal. The I, House of Gavonchi is appealing to a young spirited, vibrant, relaxed. I could also imagine That's an old dream. rogue wearing these clothes. Oh? An old rogue. An we old rogue. We all know rogue. that guy mm. who's kind of like still out and about. You still bump into him in Ibiza. He's probably like six. Better not be something. referring to me because I'm more than you. An old This guy hasn't rogue. gone clean. What? <laughs> this guy's not clean. Oh, he's definitely How not do clean. You know? yeah. Adam, what would you say? Would would you say? Uh, to I sum up the, the Givenchy man, I think the stuff that. I'm, yeah, I think it is very much about, you know, going out. There's a lot of... Um, it's very sexy that, look in there. Yeah, the stuff that really works is, is when he, she adheres to that kind of, uh, you know, dark quality of, you know, there's, there's the, the open shirt, oh, sorry, the, the no shirt with the yeah. overlong coat and the, the crucifix on it. You know, it's, there's very much that sort of romantic vibe to it. And I think it rock and roll, even. Yeah, rock and roll. It has it's a bit sexier than that. If you're that. looking at this, it's quite sexual, it's, isn't yeah, it? Whether it was like gay, straight, it's... Because yeah. yeah. I actually think you could pull... You, it doesn't I'm matter. I'm going to go home in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> but to me, this look here is very Helmut Lang. Oh, which one? you're right. It's so Helmut Lang. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The one on the left and the middle one. Because that shark so skin helmet is fabric, totally. Chinese totally. shark skin. It's like classic Helmut like Lang. fabric -y. Which is a really good reference. Yeah. yeah. Because totally. you, that you don't get better than classic Helmut Lang, to, in my eyes, anyway. Yeah, Helmut the, would have the a little band of something somewhere, wouldn't, wouldn't Or a little cut out somewhere. Yeah, a little splash of something. Yeah, that, like... When I look at the middle look with the, he's got it open, he's got the no shirt on, that, like, that's perfect. And then, yeah, you look at the Helmut Lang one and, and you're like, well, yeah, maybe one thing else. Something yeah. else. I don't know what you it is, but it's just yourself, like one shot. I mean, yeah, but that's the thing, like, yeah, you, but, I, but this is her show. She, this should be yes. like, like, give me. Okay, that. I'm going to ask all three of you, do you think it's put, this collection will put Givenchy where it needs to be? Um, I mean, I think they've got huge plans for the business this year, haven't they? I mean, I think LVMH put an announcement out that they want to match um, the figures that Dior kind mm. of turned out, which I think was two million. Which is going to be oh. my next question. Yes. Go on, Julia. Oh, um, I think we're at the starting point here. Mm. I think we're, we're going forward. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what Claire comes up with mm. in future collections, but I feel that this is a great platform, a springboard. I think, actually, <laughs> some, some of these, you know, we are getting, I know it sounds a bit cheesy, but a man for all seasons. She's covered all the areas. And just the fact that there's how many pairs of tra different shaped trousers. Going back to that. <laughs> ten, trousers, ten, ten, ten trousers. Ten trousers. Ten, trousers, ten, ten different you know, trousers. It's like, Hang. Well, that's <laughs> something in there for some, like everyone, isn't there, really? Mm. It I, does... I think... Maybe in the next collection, we're going to see, you know... Adam, what do you something? think? Uh, I think, yeah, I think this is a good foundation and a good base. Mm. Um, I think I'm interested to see what happens from here. I do think that there's some really good ideas in there. Maybe it was just a bit tighter, just edited a couple things just taken out. I think it would have been a bit sharper. I'm not sure why they got Jimmy Savile modelling on the <laughs> right You do you kind of bounce like from that. That, that, is, a, yeah. that is a model of the moment. Yeah, well, Jimmy a, Savile. He's on the uh, Instagram as well. Yeah. What's his name? I name? think maybe the beige behind's giving him a mullet. It's, his hair's not actually like that, but it looks like he's got a mullet in that. Uh, he's I amused. actually think, my personal opinion on this collection, as I say, it, I was pleasantly surprised. And I just think that it's... Uh, there's something for everyone in there. I think it's actually a very, very beautiful collection. Yeah. And as you say, it's a very good starting point. Because you know what? It's not kind. Of, it's not saying, okay, this is me. I'm. This is the direction I'm yeah. going in. I want to shock the world. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I kind of feel like it's her really owning that space and kind of like I feel like she really hit her stride probably last season, season before, and this is her kind of like feeling really quite confident in it. Hmm. Like, like she stripped away all the unneeded things. Yeah, like it's kind of, it's almost like I think for any designer, kind of like those first three seasons mm. when they go to a house, they're really having to try and feel like, like I, I imagine there's probably that pressure to prove yourself. Oh, yeah, you're just trying to scream the whole yeah. time. Yeah, like, and you're oh. kind of like, no, let's put that in, it's really Givenchy, whereas this yeah. just feels super stripped back. Do you think, really simple question, 
Do you think like houses like Givenchy and all the other major houses feel the pressure when someone like Kim Jones takes over Dior and turns Dior into what it's become in just three seasons Got coming it. up? Do you think that people like Claire have that pressure put on them to perform in such a way? Absolutely. I think you're kind of... I mean, it's like any peer group, isn't it? Like, these are all peers. These are all guys that studied together, that work together, that know each other. It's kind of, you know, whether you're a, a teacher, a writer, a designer, you yeah. know, a pop star, you know, you kind of look at your peers and you, you know, you respect them and you kind of also want to compete on, in a way. It's a healthy competition. Yeah, a healthy competition. I think, for me, I think that, you know, if I was to sum up the show, I'd say, well done, Claire. I would say, well done. I think it's, yeah. it's, uh, there's well done. Some, it's, there's, it's a very accessible collection. There's nothing in there that you, you look at and you think, oh, I couldn't wear that. Apart from, well, I wouldn't wear the tank top, but you get what I'm saying too. <laughs> but, like, I would see that, I would look at it and think, oh, I can imagine that on so many different people. Yeah, absolutely. And for me, that's a winner then. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. When you look at a collection, you yeah. think that would look so good on so and so, or that would look really yeah. good, or I would love that suit. And for me, that's a winning collection. There's not bits where I thought, oh my God, that's, a, you know. Yeah. yeah. I think you brought up a really valid point with the Kim Jones yeah. thing. The, the, the only thing that I, I think that, yeah, there is some really great stuff in here. But yeah, when you compare it to like Kim at Dior, or you compare it to Chris Van Aship or Luti, or even like regardless of, you know, if you like Heady at, Celine, yeah. those were like, you know, wow, like you saw those collections and they had just stamped yeah. their names in bold on it. And I like parts of this, but I think that in the context of every of the other collections we've seen, it doesn't quite live up to that. But then I think she's actually I found think a it voice does a very, I think it does a different thing. To what do you think it does, Michael? Like I, kind, I think it stays quite true to the house aesthetic. You know, if you kind of look at Hedy, at Celine, mm. you know, that's kind of more about him than about the brand. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. And no, that kind of eclipses you know, the brand. Let's look at Hedy at Celine and let's look at Hedy elsewhere, and it's yeah. the same collection. Just and it's just about over. him, like, kind of regurgitating that kind yeah. of, that same aesthetic. And like, Whereas I feel like this is a good marriage of both her and that kind of traditional Givenchy look that you associate yeah. with the brand. Mm. I, you know, can I just say one thing? I think that it's not trying too hard. And that's Absolutely. what I love about it. Effortless. Yeah, and as you said at the beginning, the simplicity. I, I just think yeah. that it's not saying, OK, this is me putting a stamp on mm. something. Mm. This is kind of... A, it's kind of like, this is me coming in, I'm just what I'm going to show you, and this is... Watch what's coming next, collection. Do you know what I mean? I also think it's, it's a brand that's having a lot of fun at the moment. Like, you know, they had a huge party after the show last night in Florence. You know, the last show in Paris, they, they kind of did a big shindig in um, one of the townhouses nearby. I kind of feel like they're... They're having a good time with it. Like, she's having a good time with it as well, you know? And I think you can kind of feel that from the, from the pull of the clothes and the kind of the allure of them. What are you mean by the cooler bag? I've got one. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this is, I'm going to the party the later. Pocket. I've got a cooler bag with me. I've got one. Keep my MDMA cool. I've got one. I've got one. What you got? <laughs> Quietly confident. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. I like that. I like that. You know, I... I, I you know. Confident collection. It's not like, you know. It's definitely left me wanting to see more. I, I mean, think that's a good so thing. That's a winner. Yeah. In yeah. My yeah. Eyes. So I'm like, all right, now let show me fall for this. This this is Because you know, it's like I was like watching and I was thinking, oh God, oh, tomorrow morning I'll just go in and rip the fuck out of this, rip the fuck out of that. <laughs> Good like I always do with everything. But you know what? There's not there's nothing to rip the fuck out of apart from those awful I mean, that beige suit in the middle looks kind of major, isn't it? Yeah, I love the what well, the middle one. The middle yeah. one. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, like a lot of swish. It's like super fantastic. And you could wear that. You'd be That's a guy in your forties, fifties, sixties. You'd see that and you, you know what you you look at it and you think, I could wear that. Yeah, yeah, totally. Instead of thinking, oh, I'm too old for that. And or there's great trainers as well. Yeah, and I couldn't get away with that. Do you get oh, what I'm saying, oh, I'm looking You look at it and you, see, <laughs> you know. Swish, swish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Clip, clop. Lovely, yeah. All right, so how much longer have we got, you show studio peeps? Three minutes. OK. So whenever I'm ready, I should have gone home half an hour ago. Because <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you got Let's to say the, the things ten like trousers, that. <laughs> ten oh, my God, we missed that. Trousers. We missed these florals. <laughs> we, we missed these florals. Well, where did the oh, fucking... Oh, I didn't really even strong. see these florals. OK, let's talk different. about the florals. Let's end all, on the florals. And also the, the, uh, the round-the-neck Percy purse. I wish it was I, I, I actually think I can carry on living without these three looks. 
Mm. Um, yeah. Do you not like them? Then, what do you not like about them? What do you not like about that coat? If, if it, all, like, it just feels slightly try hard. Like we've just said it's effortless and it feels like, super relaxed and cool. And then this kind of thrown into the mix. It looks like he works from the door of Annabelle's. <laughs> it feels slightly <laughs> off-piste. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you know, I like the trousers. I think Actually, the trousers are gorgeous. I, yeah, I, I'm nice. into those trousers. I love those trousers. Is, it, would you, is that a cargo pant? Let's see. I don't think it is a cargo pant. Can we zoom in on those trousers, please? No. <laughs> <laughs> is that still a dirty word? I'm into those trousers. Those yeah, there's ones. a bit of patinage the on the left. I mean, yeah. that, they're quite ravey, aren't they? I like them. Is that a whistle that. around his neck? I think that yeah. looks great. <laughs> yeah. It's a little purse. That's gorgeous. I like that. And yet again, really wearable. Yeah. As florals go, do you get what I mean? As floral, yeah. Well, you know, as a pack. It's not something I would go to my wardrobe and think, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear loads of flor flowers today. But you know what, if you're going out and stuff like that, that, that was really a, like... It's a, a good going out, it's a good party trouser. Exactly. It's a pop. You, you've got an alcohol problem, you keep going back to partying. <laughs> 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 Everything's a party to you. We never go out that much. It's a great collection, but their party was really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a jaunty little do. So let's sum up the show all together. Uh, Starting with Adam, and don't talk about the ten different types of shapes. <laughs> so you look uh, at that little bit of glitz there. Yeah, I mean, I think it, the best parts about it were when she hewed very romantic and it had that sort of dark, you know, um, like sexy going out kind of look. I think that felt yeah. very Givenchy. And yeah, you know, it, it didn't need to try too hard because the silhouette was there. You just had yeah. a little bit of embroidery and you're like, those okay, high, I Those high-waisted trousers and the jacket. Yeah, just... The black jumper is so beautifully that, done. I mean, that's just... It's so good that I was just like, oh, I just show me a bit more of those. But, you know, I, I, I thought that uh, in comparison to the other stuff that, you know, the other sh uh, menswear show she's done, this was a lot stronger and it has, it has some vision going forward and I'm, you know, excited to see where this goes. Julia. Well, I'm going back to quietly confident <laughs> myself. <laughs> but um, I'm enjoying the multitude of looks that are quietly confident. And uh, yes, there's a bit of glitz, there's a bit of floral, there's your, your shiny shimmer, there's your wind <laughs> swish. It's all going on. And, and I'm into it. <laughs> good. And uh, Michael, very jaunty. <laughs> <laughs> Smart for town. Uh, <laughs> no, it felt, you know, it felt quite accomplished. It felt relaxed. It felt confident. And, you know, it kind of, I think it has a lot of sex appeal as well. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Like, is I it was gay everyone, or straight? It was all three sexy. All you missed out was, uh, Michael just started, it's sexy. Yeah. It's some really sexy looks. And, and I just think it's, uh, for me, it's, it's, it's definitely a winner. Collection. I, 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 I literally. You think, um, as a, a, yeah. Claire, being a, you know a, a, a girl designer designing for men, that that, that 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 women pick up that sensuality. Yeah, I think she's had a lot of good sex in that time. <laughs> I think that I think they're also clothes that would make you feel sexy. Kind of crosses over, yeah. it's just you know, yeah. not just to look at. You know, you, yeah. if you wore those suits, I think you'd feel quite yeah. hot. Yeah. 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 Okay, so there you have it, Givenchy, definitely a winner, I'd say. I'd like to thank the panel, Julia, Adam and Michael for being so jaunty <laughs> and for talking about ten different trousers and sizes <laughs> and Julia for talking all things shimmery. <laughs> thank you for watching. Uh, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, later. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>